My name is Father Vidal Martinez. I am a friar of the Order of the Servants of Mary, and I'm very happy to have this opportunity to be able to speak with you and to share with you about our experience in Haiti. Haiti is a story of 111,000 corpses dumped into open graves on a public trash heap. It's a story of a small country with 380,000 orphans before the earthquake. And there well may be a million more children who are now homeless and alone. Totally destroyed and totally demoralized at the same time. When I woke up, my brother calls on the phone and he says there's a huge earthquake in 80, turn on CNN. Turn on CNN and that's when I found out that uh, it was one of the biggest earthquakes in that area ever, and that my mother was in Haiti on that day. When I find out it was hurricane, I am uh, earthquake. I tried to find my way out. There was no way, so I, I push and thank God the thing push and I went out. Everything was blowing out down in, in the house, dishes, and everything was coming down. And for that day, we spent that night, we spent all night in the streets. Nobody could sleep, nobody could, uh, we just talk all night with the neighbors that was there. That is a very, very bad experience. Uh, you never think that you make that night, you will, you will come out alive. And you really don't think you see anybody, you know, my family. I think that's it. Nobody will see me again because the way it is, I, we don't think you survive this. But thank God I'm still here. Crickets announce the night and the moon rises yonder. No child is heard, no human virtue seen in darkness. Candles flicker and lights in the streets announce the advent of burning memories. In one instance, in one sound, in one motion, the mango falls from its tree. Now the heart remembers. One of the parishioners in the parish that I was the parochial vicar in New Jersey came home on one occasion after having visited Haiti with some of her fellow parishioners and they felt the need to do something about the situation in Haiti. And we're speaking now about some 30 years ago in the city of Petit Guave they had suffered in one of the hurricanes a destruction of a shelter that had been built for the homeless. And we decided it would be best with our limited financial resources to invest our money in, in children in the future. And we saw it as a wonderful opportunity to start a school, an orphanage initially, a residential school for children, for poor children who would never have an opportunity for an education. So in about 1995, Odette Morency put together a staff of people that would be able to coordinate the school and faculty members to teach and other staff members to assist with all the other concerns and needs, continuing still with very limited financial resources. We ventured and the beginnings of the school and little by little, since 1995 until the present, the school has continued to grow and to develop, and so the children at our little school in Petit Guave, the school's name is Child Jesus School, Ecole Enfant Jesus. At the grounds where the school is located, we called it Servants of Mary Center. And as you have heard already about the devastation that hit Haiti at the beginning of this year in January, and the need that has resulted from that, there have been many people who have responded with great generosity. There are two young ladies from Kissimmee, Florida, who went down to Haiti and they saw such devastation and they wanted to do something. They wanted to 
reach out and help someone in need. They were so surprised to see that the devastation was still present all over the place. That there had not been much progress made in rebuilding. The children and the people in the streets begging who were trying to assist financially some of the families so that they can once again initiate this small business. For this we need your financial support and then it could be invested in the families of the children that we seek to help through our Infant Jesus School. The security wall surrounding the school was totally destroyed. And that's a very expensive venture to rebuild that wall, which we need to rebuild for the security of the children and also for the security of the property. We also are looking for sponsors for these families, individuals who will be willing to provide a monthly contribution to assist a family or some families with their day-to-day -day needs. What do you think we can do? To what do you 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 can do? To specifically need, like I said, cold medicine, antibiotics. Time for children, motion for children, and also very important if um, as treatment for asthma, either uh, if you could get prescribed uh, albuterol, zopinex, and a nebulizer, nebulizer machine. Clean linens, air mattresses, sleeping bags. So we come before you today, first of all, to let you know of the needs to let you know of people who are striving and struggling to overcome these conditions and who are crying out to you and to me and to all of us, help us, we need your help. Simple but vital things like food, water, Tents, medical supplies like aspirins and inhalers can help save a life. We have great faith in Mary's maternal love for the Haitian people, and we have great hope in your generosity to help these people. Please contribute to the Haitian Fund. No matter the amount, whatever comes from your heart, please be assured that all donations will be used entirely by the Servant of Mary's Center and the Infant Jesus School. Help a family start a business, giving them a chance for a new life. Las necesidades de Haití son enormes. Por favor, ayuda con lo que puedas. Gracias. Haiti's needs are great, and we need your help. Thank you. Our community, Our Lady Source of Our Joy, has embraced the mission of helping our brothers and sisters in Haiti. That is why we produce this DVD, to ask for your help and your support.